Hi guys, <clears throat> this is the project in its pretty complete condition. You might hear the noise of the fan because I've plugged the SD cable that is plugged in there and goes straight to this. And this is just a uh, breakout board that gives me 220 volts to this power supply. This is a 12 volt power supply. And it also gives me the same 220 volts to the dimmer, dimmer switch. So, uh, 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 the power supply powers up this uh, boost DC, DC to DC boost converter, which which powers the fan that you hear the noise of and this is uh, just to, to measure there is a thermocouple thermocouple uh, wires and another wire for some kind of heat switch but I think since this is a cheap panel I don't think I've found that switch and this is the heating elements from the uh, output of the dimmer now uh, I'm gonna plug these are uh, connected. These clippers are connected to my multimeter over here. I'm gonna connect them to get some reading. But I don't know its mean. I'm uh, just not sure about its meaning. But it gives me just uh, an estimation or that the temperature is low or high. As you will notice right away when I turn the knob of this potentiometer, you would see that the temperature is increasing. Uh, this is the millivolts range, by the way. So, uh, this is a reading which we can look up at the internet and find the equivalent in degrees or Fahrenheit. But as uh, as you can see, the temperature goes up. If I turn the knob a little bit more, go up and still increase until it gets to the temperature that is set by the dimmer or by the voltage given to the heating elements. When it gets pretty warm or pretty hot, you will see that it's kind of like goes red or orange. Let me just try the solar in front of the camera. As you can see, uh, it's not high yet. Uh, there it goes. You can see it melts the solar pretty easily. You may notice some parts laying around over here. These are some parts that I desolder from this piece of wood. I want to try to desolder, like, for instance, this component. I don't think if I can do that one handed, I can see it's got like 19 millivolts right now. I think it works, but uh, it spits around 20 ish, 25, something like that. So I'm gonna increase a little bit more. And yeah, you just try this. By the way, you gotta be careful with this uh, handle because. It has this uh, huge, like, wide uh, output that exhausts the air out of, and it can melt uh, surrounding components and surrounding plastics, as you can see right there. <laughs> you see, that's it. It melted that, which is not a good thing to happen if you are trying to fix some kind of board so right there I'm gonna try I don't know nah so it didn't work for me at that point because I'm using only one hand so I gotta hold the handle with one hand and uh, uh, take off or uh, uh, get the components off the board with another hand.